We all love rags to riches stories. It's even better when the story is about a UFC favorite champion. Daniel Cormier is a former American mixed martial artist, amateur wrestler, and commentator for the Ultimate Fighting Championship, once contending with extreme poverty. He rose through the ranks as an athlete and is now a millionaire with a net worth of around $8 million. So what does the champion do with his wealth? Here's how Daniel Cormier spends his millions. Let's start with houses. Daniel Cormier has been very open about the struggles of his past. The champion literally came from nothing and had to deal with devastating tragedies in his life. His father was shot dead on Thanksgiving when he was only seven years old and his daughter passed away in a tragic car accident in 2003. On top of that, there were major money problems. Cormier has talked about being stuck in a one-bedroom apartment with his fiance, living on welfare, as both he and his family had no money. He has openly stated that he got into UFC for the money, and it's truly inspiring how he built his career to support his family. Although we don't know much about Cormier's personal life, we know that his wife and his children are his first priority, and he spares no expense to keep them happy. They all live in a mansion in Gilroy, California, the same house where he used to prepare for the trilogy against Miosic in 2020. The house looks luxurious in pictures, complete with a beautiful backyard and a pool. Interestingly though, the house is still quite modest by millionaire standards. Built on 2,347 square feet, it is a five-bedroom, three-bathroom home valued at around $750,000 at the time it was purchased. The house's current value is around $1 million, which is still wildly expensive, but it's still quite simple compared to the homes of those in Cormier's tax bracket. Clearly, the fighter doesn't like to throw money around irresponsibly, and we commend him for that. Cormier also owns a small house in his hometown in Louisiana, which he considers his first home. And now, his shoes. Compared to many wealthy athletes, Cormier is pretty low-key. No private jets or luxurious vacations for this fighter. He has admitted to being, quote, very cheap, unquote, and has talked about panicking over dinner bills, even after becoming UFC champion. Clearly, the millionaire does not care about flexing, only smart financial decisions. One luxury item that Cormier does like to indulge in, though, is shoes. You think your shoe collection is impressive? This fighter definitely has you beat. He has talked about growing up poor and fantasizing about owning Air Jordans, Pippins, and Air Max 95s, and now claims to have the best sneaker collection in the UFC. Now, we don't know the exact value of the lightweight champion's shoe collection, but we're pretty sure it's high. In a YouTube video by Complex, he talked about how Joanna Jadrezic has some dope kicks and how Conor McGregor might have the most expensive shoe collection, but there's no beating DC when it comes to good old sneakers. In the video, he also told a funny story about Rumble Johnson thinking he had the best shoe game, but Cormier one-upped him. What wouldn't we give for a tour of his sneaker closet? At the end of the video, he picks up some kicks and pays a healthy amount for them, showing that for all his simplicity, the man enjoys some fancy sneakers. He has paid $1,716 for a pair of Adidas Yeezy Boost 350s and the Air Jordan VDMPs. Holy smokes! We want a raise now. And now, Daniel Cormier, Wrestling Academy. We've seen many wealthy folk use their money to invest in stocks, hedge funds, or businesses that help them expand their wealth. Uber-rich YouTubers aren't raking in hundreds of millions of dollars just from posting videos online, guys. Of course, it makes sense for athletes to invest. You can't be fighting in the UFC when you're 80. While we don't have the details of Daniel Cormier's investments, we know of one business venture the fighter started, one that he's incredibly passionate about, Daniel Cormier Wrestling Academy. This gym, also located in Gilroy, California, is owned and operated by the champion, where he coaches wrestling to young kids. In this era of gym culture, which can honestly be quite toxic for people's bodies, Cormier's idea behind starting the gym is quite inspiring. He has talked openly about being bullied as a kid and feeling afraid of everyone. 
and everything. He says he understands the need for kids to be empowered and feel confident in themselves. He feels he can use the gym to improve the sense of self-worth in his students through combat sports. We can see that his business venture is not about making money at all, but about helping kids realize their potential and help them in their individual struggles. The gym not only aims to help young people improve their fitness and become skilled in martial arts, but also help them conquer their mental and emotional limitations. The website for the Daniel Cormier Wrestling Academy has proudly displayed warrior stories, the experiences of Cormier's students that joined the program and came out warriors. Honestly, having the legendary Daniel Cormier as your MMA instructor sounds like a dream. Next up, the car collection. Cars are the status symbol of the rich and famous. The elite love to indulge in expensive whips. It's almost like a uniform. If you're rich, you need to have the newest iPhone and a few fancy cars in your garage. Do you even have money if you don't have a Tesla? Clearly, Daniel Cormier doesn't seem to think so. Besides his sneaker collection, he doesn't feel the need to invest in luxury products. And cars are no exception. Since the UFC champion does not share much of his life with his fans, we don't know much about all the cars he has, but the fans do love to speculate. One YouTube video says that the fighter has a number of luxury cars in his collection, including the BMW 7 Series, which costs $103,000, and the Tesla Model S, which costs $100,000. Of course, these are only rumors, and Cormier himself quashed this assumption by saying that he has no interest in showing off his UFC paydays with a fan fancy car. Appearing on The Rich Eisen Show, Cormier revealed that he does not own a luxury car or a high-performance sports car. So what car does the fighter drive? A Toyota Prius. Yep, the car you took your driving test in and the car your aunt takes to work. Surprised? So are we. Cormier feels no shame about his car and has taken pictures with it many times. He says he even keeps his belt in the front seat of his Prius. And since he lives 30 minutes minutes away from work, the car helps save him on gas. Clearly, the light heavyweight champion finds no glamour in fancy cars. Coming from humble beginnings, he knows the importance of spending money responsibly, and the wealth and fame hasn't gotten to his head. It's very refreshing to see such a legend be so down to earth. And now, fashion. Another way the top 1% like to showcase their wealth is through fashion. Remember that one picture of Kylie Jenner wearing 10 Cartier bracelets on her wrist. It caused quite a scandal because that iced up wrist alone could pay off one person's student loans. The rich don't seem to care though and love dressing up in designer brands that cost fortunes. Not our favorite UFC legend though. When it comes to fashion, Cormier keeps it simple and understated and might we say he looks just as stylish. When it comes to suits, he likes wearing Hugo Boss and his favorite favorite shirt is an orange Oklahoma State piece that says legacy. Quite fitting if you ask us. Now, we know that the legend likes to splurge a little when it comes to shoes and has a number of Air Jordans and Laboutines in his collection, but nothing too splashy. Even most of his watches are from Tag Heuer, and he says that Rolexes aren't for him. His style is classy but not extravagant, so clearly thousands of dollars aren't spent on it, even though he still looks great. Next up, training. It takes a lot more than pure talent to be an internationally recognized UFC champion. It takes quite a bit of money, too. So we know that the former UFC star spent a lot of money on his career. John Cholish broke down how much it costs to fight for the UFC, and it's not cheap. There are a number of expenses involved when training for a fight. There are gym fees, travel expenses, supplements, and training gear, which costs around four to $6,000. Training with a team, use of facilities, and the guidance of coaches take out about five to 10% from your fighting purse. We don't know the exact cost of training for Daniel Cormier, but we know that you don't become a UFC star just by training at your local gym. So we're sure that he paid thousands of dollars for the duration of his fighting career. And considering how his career turned out, that was a pretty good investment. That's a wrap for this video, what did you find the most interesting about Daniel Cormier's lavish lifestyle?
lifestyle? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.